Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a really simple design that's just using this tree. Now, our ingredients are quite simple as well, so we're not wanting to make anything really complicated. So why are we doing this? Well, I discovered this tree online, and it is really for carrying drinks. So it's actually got a little bit of a non-drip surface here, but I thought it's quite a simple container, and we can make use of this for creating a floral design, or lots of floral designs actually. So the ingredients I've got are these beautiful calla lilies. I've got some willow, and this is fasciated willow, which means that it's got a little bit of a distortion in the stems. We've got some beautiful hellebore, and I've got a little bit of choicea, uh, just to give us a little bit of colour as well. So all I've done is I've put two pin holders into our container. And this is just a plastic container. So with our pin holders, they're going to create the, the base for holding our flowers and we can add this water. So the beauty of using the pin holders is that they give us the support, but we also have the ability to have this water surface so we can get a bit of a reflection from our flowers. So the first thing I want to do then is have a look at our willow. Now, you might not have pin holders and that's fair enough. Um, what you could do is you could use floral foam into this and you could have a couple of pieces of floral foam, that would be fine. Or you could actually have, fill the whole thing with floral foam and then use like some gravel or some moss or something on top. So don't feel that you have to have pin holders or that you have to have, um, you know, exactly what I've got. But it's just this idea of what could we create with this tray. So what I'm doing is I'm placing our willow in and because we've got two holders, we're able to make two placements, which is going to make this a little bit more interesting. So really we're going to work that we've got this main placement at the back and one to the front. Now I'm looking at my water and thinking it's not very clean. So what we could do at the end is we could change the water and make it a little bit cleaner. But I think it's important that we have the water in just now because what we want is the flowers to be in water and be happy. So I'm putting these stems quite high and quite far back. So really this is going to be from the front. So this is giving us a lot of depth, which is quite interesting. And now we can look at our lilies. And I just wanted to use these because we had them uh, in our workroom and I just think they're absolutely beautiful. So. I'm using a knife just to cut them. And um, I think the materials we've got here are just beautiful. And this is all really about the line of the flowers and the stems. So we're gonna add one or two of these first. And really you can just take your time and enjoy creating your arrangement. So as you can see, I've placed two at the back. So again, we've got one facing backwards a little bit, which is giving us a little bit more depth. And we can come in and bring this into the front. These lilies are absolutely beautiful. And I just think this is quite a nice kind of spring arrangement. Um, we don't need to have a lot of flower. We can actually keep this really very simple. What we're doing here is we're bringing a flower forward. So we've got quite a lot of depth and actually having this one here uh, is joining the flower with the container so that there's that connection. So this really would be viewed from the front. So our other materials then, these are absolutely beautiful and it seems a shame to cut them short, but what I wanted to do was use the leaves low down so that we can help to hide our pin holder. So we're just popping that on. You can see straight away that we're actually hiding that, that structure that's holding our flowers. And we can really do that quite simply. 
so I think we'll make that a little bit more naturalistic. And I love this flower, it's absolutely beautiful. So again, this is going to give us a little bit of a contrast. And I, I think the contrast between the high and the low is quite nice. So I'm just carefully pushing these onto the base, uh, onto the pins. If you're using the Japanese pin holders, they're very sharp. And these ones are, I don't think are Japanese. Uh, they're definitely not sharp sharp that's for sure and then we can look and see if we need anything else so what we've got here is we've got an arrangement that's got a lot of space it's got a lot of line and elegance this is quite a wide container so we've actually got quite a good volume created here and then we can just see if we want to add anything else so a good idea is maybe just to hold things up what we can do is we can emphasize this material by stripping off a lot of the leaves. Now this is Choicea and it has the most beautiful smell um, and it would be a real shame I think to cut this and lose a little bit of the stem so We'll just take them off and that was quite easy to do. You can just literally run your hands down to do that. And really when I'm doing this, I, I don't know what the end result's gonna be like, uh, but I know that what our contents are, what our dimensions are, the remit in which I'm working, but really what you have to do is you have to look at your flowers and look at the lines that's within your flowers and where they're gonna end up. I'm looking at this. I think we'll make this one a little bit shorter, would be better. So you can really reevaluate it, and it depends where you're going to put your flower arrangement as well. But I don't want to make this overly complicated. We just really want this to be quite simple and quite straightforward. So actually quite easy to put together but you really need to look at your materials evaluate the line and how you want them to place and think about that relationship of space and visually this works well because it looks like one arrangement but we actually have two placements i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you'd like to keep up to date with all our new videos to come then click here to subscribe and thank you for watching